Good day everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. On this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick fix tutorial on how to fix uh, in case if you get an error message saying that this operation has been cancelled due to restriction in effect on this computer, the one which you see on the screen, or in case if you're using Outlook 2013 or newer version, you will see the following error message which says that your organization policies are preventing us from completing this action for you. For more information please contact your help desk now this is if you look at the error message you might uh, see that this is the outlook error but in uh, reality this is not an outlook error now this error is due to a problem with the default browser configuration often caused by uninstalling Chrome or Firefox while the browser is set as a default so let's say that you have uh, set install chrome and set um, chrome or firefox as a default and if you uninstall the chrome or firefox without setting internet explorer as a default you might get this error message now there are a couple of steps which you need to try now uh, now let's say that um, if you're the first thing what I would suggest to you is uh, if you're receiving this error message after uninstalling any application that takes over the HTML open command including uh, not limited to Chrome or Firefox browser you may need to change the HTML or HTML association in the registry so the first thing uh, what you will have to do is you will have to uh, close Outlook and uh, open registry editor now click on the search button and type run open run window in the run window type reg edit click on ok or hit enter in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now this should open up the registry editor now once you are on the registry editor what you will have to do is you will have to navigate now i would like to give a disclaimer that whenever you're making any changes in the registry entry make sure you do it right in case if you don't do it right now there are chances that your computer might not function the way how it is supposed to function so please make sure to follow the steps carefully I will also mention these steps in the video description you can t uh, also uh, take the registry entries from the video description in case if you're not able to follow the video now like I said you will have to open the registry editor now once you open the registry editor you will have to navigate to HK current user will have to expand HK current user and then you will have to look for software under software you will have to navigate to classes you will have to expand classes now here you have to be very careful there are about uh, three four reg uh, four registry entries which you will have to modify so what you will have to do is here you will have to look for dot htm under .htm once you highlight .htm you will have to right click on it and click on modify once you click on modify you will have to change the chrome html to html file all in small case in case if you see firefox HTML you will have to change it to HTML file the next registry entry what you will have to look for is shtml that is dot shtml X, um, you will have to highlight dot shtml right click modify change chrome html uh, chrome html to html file click on ok at the same ways in case if you find firefox html you will have to change to html file now the reg next registry uh, registry key what you will have to navigate to is dot x h t and here again you will have to do a right click Click on modify and change it to HTML 
file click on ok and there is another registry key that is dot xhtml right click modify and change it to html file like i said in case if you find uh, firefox html you will have to change it to html file now there's another registry key in case if you're not able to find it you can leave it as it is you don't have to worry about it that is dot xhtm let's see if it is listed here in my case it is not listed in case if you find it on your system you uh, you will have to go ahead and uh, modify and not to forget i will mention these registry keys in the video description so you don't have to worry about it now once you have modified the settings you can go ahead and close registry editor restart your computer and then try to open the hyperlinks in outlook see if that works in case if the problem uh, if this should re uh, fix the problem in case if uh, the problem is not due to uninstalling Chrome or Firefox or it could be a corrupt registry key in the Internet Explorer where the, uh, the registry key is at so what you will have to do is you will have to open Internet Explorer in my case I'm going to open Internet Explorer from the run window IE Explorer once you have the Internet Explorer open you will have to go to settings at the top right corner of the screen you will have to click on settings under settings you will have to go to internet option under internet option you will have to go to advanced and then click on reset now this will reset your internet explorer settings close your internet explorer try opening outlook and see if that works now here once that is done you can also set your programs as a default so you can go to settings internet options if you're using a windows 8 or older version you can uh, there is another way to do it uh, for windows 8 and older version you can follow these steps you will have to go to programs click on set programs and go to set your default programs here in email you will have to set your default program as the outlook uh, in my case i'm using outlook 2019 i'm going to set that as a default so this is uh, once this is done you can go ahead and close the default apps window and also the internet explorer window try opening outlook and see if you are able to open the hyperlinks that should ideally work in case all of these steps doesn't work the next step what you will have to do is you will have to import or registry key uh, now when resetting the web setting doesn't help you will need to replace the corrupt key using this uh, particular registry file i will mention this registry entry i will walk you through the steps how to uh, save this registry key on your computer what you will have to do is you will have to copy the uh, this registry uh, restriction.fixe.reg you can you need to copy the content from the video description and paste open a notepad and paste it here and save the file as .reg uh, you can save it on the desktop so restriction file.fix.reg the file extension has to be .reg, not .txt. So make sure you change to from txt to reg. That's the registry key. Click on save. Once you have done that, you will have to go to the desktop. Open, go to go to the desktop, and you will see the registry key which says R restriction.vxe you will have to double click on it in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue and if you and the next prompt what you will see is adding information can unintentionally change or delete values in case are you sure you want to continue you you have to click on yes once you have clicked on yes that particular registry key will be uh, imported onto your computer now this should fix a problem um, in case if this doesn't fix a problem there are other solution uh, which I will mention in the video description 
Now there there are a couple of users uh, who were facing a similar problem uh, that is by uninstall uh, that is by uh, uninstalling. They might have um, not. You might have noticed this error message by uh, uninstalling Internet Explorer from the computer from the optional feature. So ever since you have uninstalled Internet Explorer from optional feature, you might have come across this problem. So all you have to do is you will have to go to the uh, go ahead to the optional features and reinstall Internet Explorer. Reboot your computer. That should work. And there is also another solution where um, where you can go ahead and reinstall Google Chrome set internet explorer as a default and uh, open outlook and try to open the ipo links that should work so all these steps i will mention in the video description um, so that should help you to resolve the problem in case if you have any difficulties do leave me a comment in the comment section i, sh I will be more than happy to get back to you i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day